So finally, uh, my first mission after years of training out of flight school and I'm ready to take on. Here's the situation, our mission briefing. Russian insurgents have managed to set up a small base by the Kobaledi Cross. I guess that's the uh, small airfield right next to Kobaledi. With artillery they're holding the city of Kobaledi and Kobaledi Air Base hostage. They have also some level of anti-air defense, it's making it difficult to attack them from the air. Intercepted radio shatters suggest that they are getting reinforced with Russian special forces, oh my, uh, by helicopter. You need to get up there and intercept the helicopters before they get with the influence of the insurgents and anti-air defense. Oh, insurgents, to the insurgents, anti-air defense. Oh, we should learn to read as well. Uh, okay. So there are two Russian helicopters that I need to go up, intercept. I'm pretty sure I have the knee pad here that shows me the route and probably they're going to give me information on how I get there. So I am going to start this mission and I'm going to start getting the aircraft ready to fly as quickly as possible. Okay, let's see here. I'll try to remember everything. Okay, that's that. Turn on these things as well, I'm pretty sure. And the AC. And then we turn on the fuel pumps. And after that, the APU. Unhook that one and press the engine start button. Oh yeah. Engine is pulling up. So the reason why they choose me for this mission and didn't send the regular Air Force types, guys, I'm just a mercenary hired for a hired gun. It's because they actually um, they're having a bit of trouble with the Russians, and most of their forces are deployed along the Russian borders. So there's not actually many uh, many Russian fighters or many Georgian military fighters close by. So they decided to send me. Uh, which is good, I get to prove myself and uh, maybe I'll be able to get some better air equipment than this rusty old MiG-21. So good, the engine is pulled up now, I'm gonna get on with the startup procedure here. All the systems operational is important. Turning them on. There we go, that one, turning on these two. Turning on everything here, where we are. Getting the radar into standby is very important, heating up the radar. Because this is an emergency scramble, I'm already cleared for takeoff, so I don't have to check with the tower. All I have to do is just uh, get on with it. Let's see, when all those switches are flipped, I'm going to reset my navigation instruments here. Perfect, those are reset and good. I'm going to turn on the fishnet, turn on the brightness a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to switch this aircraft into air-to-air -air operation mode immediately and get the missiles selected making sure everything is stable here uh, getting my range finder let's see that's the lighting and there's the range finder let's see I'm gonna turn on the paper and see what my range is adjusting that accordingly it's not oh it's probably doing that because I'm on the ground that's search radar guided missile good getting the flaps down one notch and opening this hatch so I can actually deploy some shaft in case I need it. Okay, I'm good to go. I'm holding down the bronze le uh, lever now. The bronze brake lever. And uh, I'm letting it go a little bit, see if we can move forward. Good. The MiG-21 is always kind of interesting to maneuver on ground since you have to kind of brake and turn left and right with rudder. Okay, let's see here. Getting to the runway as quickly as possible. We need to get up and snipe these helicopters. We cannot allow them to reinforce the um, insurgents uh, by Kobaledi. Okay, good. We're turning out on the runway here. It's kind of nice weather, actually. Hopefully, I'll be able to visually spot the helicopters as well. Uh, helicopter hunting in the MiG-21 is actually quite difficult because it's infra-guided missiles uh, is not what you would call reliable in getting a tone on the um, helicopter so I actually got four radar guided missiles the R3R I think it's called I'm just gonna get myself up in the here holding down the brake lever getting off the burner and the off burner is on and there we go 
Let's see if I can get her up in the air. Started shaking a little bit. Between 300 and 400 keep it, you want to take off. And we are up. So I'm going to un unhinge the um, gear level and put up the gears. It's good. And we are accelerating. I'm going to get the flaps up. I'm going to set the gear lever in neutral and hinge this one again. There we go. The beeping you heard was just me passing over one of the runway approach markers. So we are up and away. I'm hoping I don't have to take out their helicopters with guns. <laughs> That's The MiG-21 is not designed to hunt helicopters, but I guess <coughs> we're, well, we're what they had available to uh, scramble at such a short notice. So I guess we're stuck. they're stuck with me and the MiG-21, seeing if we can take out these helicopters. The weapon system from this aircraft is old, but the radar is sound, it works. The radar guided missiles works. We just need to find the target. And for my help, I have my trusty knee board, and I'm going to see if I can switch to this one here, and I'm going to see where I'm heading. Yes. I'm going to turn a little bit and see if we cannot already start picking up the helicopters. The sooner we get them, the sooner we can shoot them down. Uh, if they manage to reach uh, the influence of the uh, insurgents or the rebels or whatever you want to call them, their air defenses, I, I'm not going to be able to do much. I have a couple of shafts uh, equipped on this aircraft, so if they shoot at me, uh, I might survive. Or I have shaft and flare actually, so if they shoot me, I might survive, but I don't want to go up against any air defenses with this aircraft. It's not designed to go up at ant with anti-air defenses. So I'm going to turn on the radar now, and it's working fine, and the range finder here rather the yeah, paper I can move that, that's great. Uh, we're going to actually keep a fairly low altitude because these uh, helicopters probably don't fly very high and the MiG-21's radar is limited to basically straight ahead and upwards in terms of looking. It can look a couple of degrees down but you cannot, it's not designed to locate things. It's not designed to find things that are flying very low. It's a interceptor, not, a, uh, not designed for any ground attack or in this case finding helicopters not actually what it's designed for. I'm gonna push this button which uh, ooh, allows me to find them almost immediately. Both helicopters on my radar screen. This is good. It's very good. Let's see if I can get them get a good tone on them. Ah excellent, excellent. We're gonna see if we can snap one of these helicopters immediately actually. So we're getting closer. I'm going to slow down actually. We don't need to go this quickly uh, to grab that helicopter. The sooner I get it down, the quicker I can find that one. So I'm going to fire one missile. And I'm going to find the other. And I'm going to see if I cannot keep this one in the middle of the radar screen. Let's see. I can see the missile tracking. I can actually visually see it. Oh, boom! Boom, boom, boom. You are probably going down. And we're going to pass the helicopter, other helicopter, right up here. I think there it is. Okay, they're actually fairly high up. They're around the cloud layers. That's good to know. I'm going to go and see. It's tr probably maneuvering. I'm, I'm going to see if I can get around and see if I can get another radar lock on it. I'm not going to trust it with my cannons because um, uh, these helicopters are probably armored a little bit. Probably more than a regular fighter. So. If I can avoid using my cannons on it, I will. I'm going to switch to my inner pylons. And I'm actually going to create some distance from the helicopter and then turn around and see if I cannot get that one too. We got lucky there, I managed to intercept them almost immediately. I guess the intelligence uh, I got from the, well, the intelligence service was good information because I managed to get up right where they are. It's good news. See now, I'm going to put the radar into standby mode while I'm s as to not uh, waste any liquid coolant. The, it's, the radar actually has a very short operating time, about 20 minutes I think in active time and 40 minutes with in standby mode. So I want to be able to keep using the radar for as long as possible because without the radar it's going to be very difficult to locate these helicopters. Might be old but as you saw the radar works. So, I'm actually going to boost up a little bit here. We can get pretty decent speed with the MiG-21. So, despite the fact this aircraft is very old, in terms of speed, rate of climb and all that, it can fight with the best of, best of the modern fighters. 
So I'm actually going to do a very powerful 6G turn here. And I'm going to see if I cannot start locating the helicopter again. Let's turn in here towards land. Towards the clouds again. And I'm turning on the radar. And then, oh, and almost immediately, see, it's it's perfect, almost right in the sun, it's going to be difficult to hit, or rather see visually. Let's get it up there. Oh, great, we have the helicopter, it's actually moving in here. We're going to slow down a little bit, because we don't need that speed, and we're heading straight towards the helicopter, that's great. Unfortunately, I'm blinded by the sun, but thankfully my advanced, or rather my antiquated radar is able to pick it up. Let's see, come on, closer, closer, oh, you're gone, that's not good, let's see if we put pointy nose downwards, yeah. And we got a good lock, all I have to do now is just keep uh, this thing targeted, or in the middle. As you can see I move up and down, this one also moves up and down, because now it's actually like almost like a front view. So if uh, the, lock, the target is in the middle of this radar screen, it means that it's right in my sights. So I'm heading straight toward it. So we're just going to wait here until we uh, get a uh, long authorized, authorized signal. It is the red lights that shows up here. And once those light up, we will launch our two other missiles at this target and hopefully they will hit. So you can see these two yellow markers here. When they approach the... when they go outside of the um, yellow horizontal line, that's indication that you are close enough to uh, kick ass. And as you can see we're approaching and we're gonna see if we can get it. We should get... there we go, we got the red lights and I'm gonna launch the first missile. And I'm going to launch the second missile very shortly. There we go. I'm going to see if I can spot the helicopter. I think I can spot it. It's a little black dot there. And I'm going to point. Oh, it already hit. Boom. And it's smoking. And there we got the other one. Oh, that's great. Take that. You see the Russians trying to fight me. That helicopter is going down. And uh, unfortunately, probably everyone aboard is already dead. And if they're not, they are going to be dead very soon. Oh, that's not good. Poor helicopter. Well, that's that. Two helicopters down, four missiles launched. I could just head back home now, which I will, actually. I'm going to turn off the radar now because I don't think I'm going to need it. Actually, I'm going to put it in standby just in case if something else shows up and I might need it. Those helicopters did not have an air support and they probably didn't anticipate that uh, they would be able to scramble a fighter on this short notice. So, lucky for uh, us that I was just recently deployed to Batumi, and bad luck for them. Well, let's see how the military is going to solve the problem with the insurgents uh, by Kobaledi. It's not going to be easy because we don't have any military in this region right now because everything is up by the Russian border, uh, keeping the Russians in check, and they managed to get some insurgents at Kobaledi, which is right over here actually. It's a nice little city. I practiced a lot around the Kobaledi Cross, so I know the city and layout of the Kobaledi Air Base as well, very well. Uh, hopefully I will be allowed to be a part of whatever task force they put together to take out the rest of the insurgents. Uh, for now I'm gonna quietly go back home and hope that they don't pick me up with any uh, anti-air defenses and shoot me down. Usually I need a lot of runway before I can put the wheels on the ground. Once the wheels are on the ground, uh, I can basically get her down or break her almost immediately thanks to the drug shoot. But see here, we need to stay around 300-400 kph and we are getting very close here now. And I'm going to stop being able to see the runway actually very soon. I need to... Oh, are we going down perhaps a little bit too fast maybe? Yes. Well, we have the runway right there and I'd rather hit the runway than the water. So I'm going to see if I can gain a little bit of altitude. Uh, I wish I remember which of all these gauge and levers were the angle of attack indicator because I'm obviously very bad at approaching. 
the airfield. There the airfield is. We are heading in the wrong direction a little bit, but I'm going to be able to with some rudder get her up. Perfect. There we go. So let's see now if I cannot just gently put her down. Uh, throttle back a little bit. I am still way, way above the airfield here. And I'm going to go down and uh, throttle back. Oh, I might end in a crash. Ooh. We're down, we're down. It was a very bumpy. I'm going to deploy the air. Drog shoot and brake. But actually, I didn't break the aircraft. And we are braking nicely now. We're easily going to be able to brake before the runway ends. Yay! So, getting down the... <laughs> MiG-21 is kind of like the difficult part about any combat mission. Let's see, I'm going to release the drug shoot here. And I'm going to turn in directly, very nicely here. Perfect, I'm going to call that mission accomplished. That went, that was very quick, but very fun. Uh, I got really lucky being able to time my takeoff with the helicopters and was able to intercept them with the radar right on time and then going around and getting the other helicopters so it's all about a little bit of planning when it comes to engaging things with MiG-21 because you don't have a long range radar and uh, your RVR is well basically four lights <laughs> tells you that the general direction of whatever threat comes from so it's not very useful determining where you should go to attack a target which means that yeah Getting lucky and hit, managed to catch them quickly is a good thing. So there we go, we're on the ground, we are stopping, I'm going to turn off the engine now. And I'm going to actually open up the canopy here and give me some fresh air. Turn off the battery. There we go. So the aircraft is silent and safely on the ground. Thank you for watching.